Hi friends, welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithms. Yeah, in the previous class we have seen the definition of an algorithm. Now we will see how to specify an algorithm that is also we call it as algorithm specification. So algorithm can be described in three ways. So if you see the first one, what is this first one is natural language like English, the basic one. So what is this natural language like English? You can specify each instruction which is in simple sentences in, in English. So let us consider an example. If you want to store th uh, four subject marks and then you want to sum it up and then you want to find if the average is less than 50, you can say it as a fail. Otherwise, you want to print it as false. So for this problem, how to write an algorithm like a natural language like English? So here it is specified. Simply you need to write the statement like input a set of four subject marks. Calculate their average by summing up divide and dividing by four. Then if the average is below 50, then definitely you can say it as a print file. Else you can say it as print pass. This is a basic way how you can represent an algorithm in simple sentences in English. If we go to the next one, graphic representation called as flowchart. So flowchart, what is this flowchart is here also you are specifying the problem problem solution in a sequential steps but additionally with graphical diagrams like graphical representations if you see the same problem with the flowchart here it is so like here you can see each instruction is specified in some block which is also we call it as a graphical representation so like uh, for start and stop you can see the same representation which is like oval and input which is uh, reading and printing you call it as parallelogram you are using parallelogram there and then for any instructions any operations you can use rectangle that is average is equals to m1 plus m2 plus m3 like this you have represented no this you call it as any operation any instruction any statement now you are taking a decision here you can see is average is less than 50 that is a decision you want to take the answer is either yes or no so these sort of decision statements can be represented like this this is you call it as a diagonal or rhombus so this can be represented like this and if the answer is yes it goes here and if the answer is no it goes here it prints pass if it is less than 50 then it prints fail finally it stops so this is also one more representation of an algorithm one more specification of an algorithm if you see these two representation these two methods so these two methods are not feasible these two algorithmic specification methods are not so feasible if you go for the complex problems like you want to find shortest distance between uh, a number of cities okay like you want to find the like uh, which uh, shortest weight among uh, all the weights like this if you consider anything so these things are not so feasible okay so now we'll go to the third one which is very feasible one that is you called as pseudocode method so in this method we should typically describe algorithms as program which resembles language like c so we should typically describe algorithms like why we are writing this algorithm and simply in the next step we want to implement it as a program now how the programming will be there we know so if you put it in mind how the program is there according to that if you make the algorithm as a sequence of steps then it is easy in the next step to design as a to implement as a program so that is the main thing here we have taken this pseudocode method where it's uh, it always resembles language like c it always resembles like language like c so this is the thing of pseudocode method and in the entire subject we will go for the algorithms which uses this method only this is a pseudocode method only so this is what we will follow for this and now we will see what is this pseudocode convention okay now if you see the pseudocode convention means how you can represent the algorithm in pseudocode convention what are the rules are there in the pseudocode convention that i'll explain here we'll see one by one the first one is comments begin with two slashes and continue until the end of the line if you want to write any comment line like c in, in c language also you are using comment lines if there are single line comments and multi-line comments for single line you will use two slashes and multi-line you will use hash uh, slash followed by star and ended with star followed by slash 
so here you can use how many number of uh, comment lines you want to use those many lines you need to provide for each line those many comments you need to slashes you need to provide for each line anyway i'll explain with an example algorithm by using all these conventions okay blocks are indicated with magic braces so now if you see any programming so any any block or any function you can start with opening brace and you need to end with close brace here also we will follow the same thing only an identifier begins with a letter yeah this is also very most important so uh, if you take any variable declaration it must start with an alphabet Sh definitely should not start with any ne digit or with some special symbols so that's what here also will follow we can write this and we have example also here you can create s1 as a one variable you can take sample but one s will be definitely a wrong one which is here it is given third one so this is the wrong one you can create s1 you can create sample like this so first letter must be an alphabet never can be a digit now fourth one assignment of values to the variables done using assignment statement yeah you want to assign one value you can use this variable whatever you want to see left side you should have only one variable not more than that because you are assigning whatever the expression value to the left hand side that is a variable so this is also here i am giving example you can write c yeah here you need to write assignment statement as colon equals to not simple equals to colon equals to c equals to a plus b that means the whatever the value for a plus b will be assigned to c sample colon equals to s1 means what is the s1 value that will be assigned to sample so that's what we are doing here this is a simple assignment statement how you want to write there are two boolean values definitely that is true or false you need to specify with if the answer is uh, the boolean value is true you need to specify in upper case that is true like this you need to specify if it is false you need to specify like this and logical operators also you can use and or not okay wherever you want to use and or not you can use then relational operators here you can see less than less than or equal to like this greater greater than not equals to not equal now if you see in c language you will not find this less than followed by equals to but here you can use directly less than equals to because it is you are writing an algorithm definitely you can get this you can write in terms of these notations also now go to the next one loops how the loop statements are employed and how the loop statements are represented here there are three main types of loop statement that is while for and repeat until we'll see while loop how to represent while loop is similar to while loop in your c language also while you need to write then condition and additionally here you need to write one word that is do after while condition then do then open brace whatever the statement that you want to write you can write it if the condition is true then these block of statements will be executed that is simple about while loop now the main thing for loop if you see the for loop what is this for loop okay for loop will have three properties in that line that is for what is the variable value first value and the last value and how you want to do that is whether to increment or decrement so here for variable you want to do value one to value two you need to write step and then step value how much you want to increment or decrement and then do if this is true till then this will be executed anyway we'll take one example of this how to take yeah here for i equals 1 to 10 step do do that means i value will be 1 then it will execute whatever the block of statements will be here then i value will be step 2 that means it will be incremented by 2 that means next i value will be 3 and then next i value will be 5 next i value will be 7 like this next i value will be 9 and after 9 the i value will be 11 but it is what is the last value here 10 so that's why it will come out of the loop it will never take the value 11 with the loop now if you take like this for i equals 1 to 10 do now i am not writing this step so what happens if you don't write like this that means if you don't write by default the step value will be incremented by 1 now if you see i value will be one now what is the next i value definitely will be two because by default next three up to ten it will take so this is the basic thing of how you can use this for loop here okay. now going to the next one repeat until it is similar to do while loop in your c language so there you will write do then block of statements and then while no here you will write repeat so you want to start statement one to up to n statements until this condition is true so that is the thing of repeat until so if it will be repeated until this condition is 
true that means it, this is also you called as exit control loop that means all the statements will be executed then it is checking for the condition whereas in while loop first condition will be checked then only block of statements will be executed so this is you called as entry control loop okay next if you go to the next one next rule condition conditional statements as the following forms we have seen if conditions here also the same thing if can then condition then you need to write the statement if this condition is true statement will be executed additional you need to write the word that is then here compared to c language if and also else will be there no if condition then x statement will be executed if this is not true else statement will be executed and the one more thing there in c language you will have switch case no here you will have case statement like case you need to write what is the condition one statement will be executed condition to up to condition and you will write there you will write default here you will write else statement of whatever you want to write for default that will be executed and input and output are done using the instructions read and write so here you will use whenever you want to read something you want to give input something it will be written as read suppose i want to give the values of a comma b i will write read a comma b suppose i want to print the value c so i will write write c simply that is the next rule in your pseudo code convention now there are only one type of processor in any algorithm okay maybe you will get more than one algorithm in your one processor or problem but only one processor so it consists in two parts that is heading and body okay what is this heading means heading means which consisting what is that uh, algorithm then what is the name of the algorithm then parameter list whatever you want to get this line you called as algorithm heading then whatever the right you write in your block open brace to the close brace inside this you called as body of an algorithm like this you can divide heading and body of an algorithm now we have seen so many rules no so we'll see one example algorithm this is one example algorithm uh, this algorithm is uh, with respect to taking an array of elements in that you are finding the what is it maximum of given elements given elements which are there in an array you are finding so this is an algorithm now uh, we are much concentrated on this pseudo code convention not with exactly what is the meaning of this but we are concentrated on how they have written in pseudo code convention you can see here first line algorithm what is algorithm name max and parameters are using a is an array n is a size of the array so this line you call it as heading this line you call it as heading then a is an array of size n now he has put in put it here as comments so this is he is explaining that a is an array of size n he is explaining what is n and now open brace and then close brace is the body of the algorithm and result is equals to see here he is just assigning that's why a of 1 will be assigned to result now one more thing we forgot how you want to represent an array here generally in c language you want to represent an array let us suppose if it has having 10 elements you are want to start with 0 to 9 a of 0 to a of 9 that is 0 if there are n elements you want to give, represent with 0 to n minus 1 but here in this algorithm you can start the index with 1 only that is if there are n elements that is a of 1 to a of n that is index of an array always starts from 1 not from 0 that is if a of 10 is a a of 1 a of 2 like this can be represented that's why here a of 1 the first element is assigned to result now for loop you can see for i equals 2 to n do that means what is the step count by default it is 1 that means i value will be 2 and the next level i value will be 3 like this up to n if condition you can see if a of i is greater than result then you are writing then if this is true result will be assigned to a of i so finally after the exiting from the loop of fur it will return the result which will be the maximum of array size so like this we can represent any algorithm in the method that is pseudocode method so pseudocode convention all the rules are there which uh, you need to follow so that you can write an effective algorithm which further can be implemented as a program